this is Kimberly and I would like to welcome you back to my channel bookkeeping journey where I share my journey towards becoming a full-time bookkeeper and also the knowledge that I have gained along the way today I'm going to show you how to receive a payment in QuickBooks online and I'm going to explain to you why we receive payments uh, or we click that tab to receive a payment in QuickBooks online to some people that might be self-explanatory and then to some people obviously it's still good to know before we go on i would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel press that notification bell right next to it and give this video a thumbs up receiving payments so to receive a payment in quickbooks online there are two ways that we can go to receive a payment the first way is my if you guessed it and if i didn't go here too quickly it's my big um favorite button up here the new button you click on that and then you come down to receive payment so as you know when we come in here these forms are always blank so i will have to come in here and type in the customer's name so let me do that from this screen so you can see um, when it comes up so once you get into here you type in the customer's name so I'm going to type in the Gita and it will populate um, her name and then it will bring up her invoice. So Gita right now has an invoice that is owing to us of $629.10, right? And she sent us a check and the check is dated the 1st of April. So the 1st of April and it's a check, checks are, and the reference number for the check is 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. I just made that up, obviously. And checks go to undeposited funds. So because obviously if somebody bring you a check, you have not taken it you have not deposited it to the bank as yet so even if somebody brings you cash that will go to cash if you don't have a cash in hand you can also put it as undeposited funds if somebody pays you with a credit card a debit card a visa card um any of those those obviously when they swipe their card in the machine the money goes off of their card and it goes into your bank account so if it was a credit card here that the person paid you with you it, this goes for any payment in quickbooks now that i am explaining to you if the person goes pays you with a credit card here it always obviously will go to their checking account or their savings account whichever account they will deposit the money the money is automatically automatically going to okay so just make sure that you choose the the, the correct account that is being deposited to the person goes to the bank they deposit the check when we receive that bank statement at the end of the month you'll be able now to match that to um the person's um, invoice or right, we'll be able to match it to this okay because we, we will remember when we got that check and it will you know so i will go into that a bit further when we get to the part where we do um bank reconciliation right okay when we go and we're doing the bank reconciliation video i will show you that anyhow so we're back to receive payment you know i always have to give you a little extra um in these videos so right so gita came in and he paid us he sent in a check for six hundred and twenty nine dollars and ten cents so you click on that he paid us the full amount if he didn't pay us the full amount you will put in the amount that we receive here so let's pretend that he didn't pay us the full amount and he paid us five hundred dollars okay so now he will owe us so then we are gonna we are going to do the remaining in the other screen so we're gonna save and close so you come down here you make sure that everything is correct 
and then you come down here and you click save and close okay now the next way now that we are going to receive another payment it's another day we received another payment from Gita and we're going to sales and we're going to customers and then we search for Gita here click on him we come into his account and we see that he, he that he still so that he still owes us hundred and twenty nine dollars and ten cents right because the payment that we uh, received so we see here that it is closed off so we're going to click on receive payment as you can see it has partial the status is partial means partial payment was received and the balance is hundred and twenty nine dollars and ten cents so we did get that so we click on receive payment you see it populates here um, the last day that you put in because QuickBooks does um, QuickBooks try to help you but we actually receive this payment on the 3rd of April, of April and he did pay us by check again actually no he paid us by cash this time and let me see if there's a uh, cash on hand no there's no cash on hand so i'm going to but you're supposed to go to cash on hand uh when the person pays you cash it's supposed to go you have to have a cash on hand account um but i am just going to put it to on deposited funds because this doesn't have a cash on hand but obviously if this is your account we would have created a cash on hand account so we would know how much cash you actually have in hand in your store and we could keep and you can keep uh, proper um, tracking on the money that you have so the actual cash that you have on hand and the actual checks obviously right so we came in here he paid as you see it they, now I don't have to select the invoice because I'm in his account and I clicked on that invoice to receive payment when the QuickBooks bring it up the form it um, populated the tick for the invoice yes he paid us one hundred and twenty nine dollars and ten cents so we're going to come down here and, we're gonna, and you see the select save and close because we selected that in the last screen so we are going to select save and close and we will be here it will come back up to Gita's and you can see that he owes he doesn't owe us any more money because we received the payment for the hundred and twenty nine dollars and ten cents that's it so as uh, so now that you can see how to receive payments in QuickBooks online I really hope that information helps you if you have any questions put it in the comment section below and I thank you so much for watching bye